a welcome back. Here are our next two tips on how to sell your home. So tip five is all those little things. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Dead bulbs, loose hinges, all the stuff that nobody wants to do on their precious Sunday afternoon. But guess what? Don't give a potential buyer a reason not to like your house. I know they're annoying. I know nobody wants to do them, but trust me, they will make a massive difference. So get yourself down the local DIY center, pick up some tools, get it sorted. Worst case scenario, if you are a typical bloke like me and are rubbish at stuff like that, once again, loads of companies out there be more than happy to pop around and fix all those little jobs for you. So tip six is to pick the right agent. Easier said than done, right? Look, there are a load of different agents out there, lots of different styles of estate agency, lots of different brands. So where do you start? Speak to some friends, family members, colleagues, see if they've had any good experiences with agents. A good estate agent isn't always hard to find, but can be absolutely priceless when looking to sell your home. Yes, there's a load of different fee structures out there, but let's just park fee for a second. The marketing strategy your agent has is much, much more important because ultimately that is what is gonna sell your house and hopefully sell it for the most amount of money. Just remember, you're looking for value, not cheap. Now I know what you're thinking, doesn't matter what fee they quote me, I'll get them down anyway. And to be fair, most people try. All I'll say is remember one thing. If you can negotiate that estate agent down really low on their fee, how confident do you think they're gonna be at negotiating an offer up to the value that you want? The best negotiator in that room shouldn't be you, it should be the estate agent. So by all means, give it a go. But if you see value in what they're offering, the fee you pay is completely irrelevant. So you've picked your agent, you've agreed your fee, next is the contract that you sign. There's lots of different types of contract, but the three main ones are sole agency, joint sole, and multi-agency. Each have different terms and each will have different fees associated with them. What we recommend you do, go sole agent to start with. You wanna work with your estate agent, not against them. So putting complete trust in them means that they should put complete trust in you. Now don't forget, you only get one chance to go onto the market for the first time. It's so important because traditionally, this is when the most amount of inquiries are going to come through within the first seven to 14 days of going on the market. If you go on multi-agency from the very beginning, you can look desperate sometimes to a potential buyer and the odds of you achieving the best price are definitely reduced. The more important thing is that you want to create competition between buyers, not between estate agents. The moment you put one agent up against another, all of a sudden it becomes a battle to see who can provide the first buyer, not necessarily the best buyer. So we're over halfway. Next video, you guessed it, tip seven and eight.